quite hello. <laughs> oh, it's Bill Calhoun there. I said Bill Calhoun. Well, you don't gotta be fresh about it. Ma, tell me the minute Mr. Calhoun comes in. This lady got two dollars? Is this for one of those showbiz charities? It sure is. Bill Calhoun. Where is he? He's a person of the Yellow Cat Company. Bill. Hiya, sir, Burn Hurts. I bought my fare. I'll suit you for it. Double or nothing. Harry, you got two dollars. If I had two dollars, do you think I'd be in Baltimore? Harry, do you got two dollars? If I had two dollars, I'd retire and never do a little work again. Harry, do you suppose Mr. Graham's got two dollars? Mr. Graham? Well, he is a producer. Can you wait till Saturday night? All right. I'll lay it out. That'll make sixteen dollars you owe me. Thanks, Ma. Bill! You've been gambling again, and I told Mr. Graham you were at the chiropodist. I went to the cleaners. How much did you lose this time? Ten G's. Ten G's? Ten thousand basketball bucks. Did you sign in on you again? Uh-huh. They wouldn't have let me out alive unless I did. And whose name did you sign this time? Redrick C. Graham. Mr. Graham? Bill, Mr. Graham has given us all the chance. You want to play clubs all your life. Hey, we were doing all right, weren't we? Just as Mr. Graham said, you give him probably half a chance to play Shakespeare Mr. again. Mr. Graham, you're a hero. Mr. Graham is a great actor and a gentleman, but he's just culturing me. There's nothing wrong between him and I. I mean, he and me. Art, the greatest come on for a cheapskate. If he can promise you glory, I can sign his name. Mr. Graham is not a cheapskate. He said I didn't need the diamonds, I glittered natural. And I'll never forgive you if anything happens to Mr. Graham before I'm a star on Broadway. Oh, gee, buddy, I'm sorry. Thank you. 